It helps when the sun is out, when the kids can play outside and chase away their fears. Carmen Orozano says the outbursts are sudden and heartbreaking, like the time her daughter Emma broke down at bedtime. She's just started sobbing and saying, I don't want to go to heaven. And then she just said, I don't want to be alone without you guys. And jump, 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 jump. How to help children cope in these uncertain times. It's a struggle as they keep looking for answers and keep searching for a sense of safety. It's sad. <laughs> and uh, like, I, I didn't say a lot. I just kind of hugged her and said, you, you know, it's going to be OK. This is a new frontier and for many young people, a scary one. How are the calls going? So um, we are doubling and doubling again. Uh, it's Catherine Hay runs Kids Help Phone. It's getting nearly 2,000 calls a day. We hear fear. Uh, they're afraid for their friends. Um, they're worried about their mom and dad. They're worried about their sister brother. Traffic on the website is also soaring. Fear is driving it all. Last week, the number of kids in crisis spiked. Serious conversations, suicide conversations. We did 12 active rescues on Sunday afternoon. It is sobering. However resilient kids generally are, they can be so vulnerable when some of their familiar anchors are gone. When is the coronavirus going to stop? When can I go back to school? Why are people so scared about the coronavirus? Those are the kind of questions Leanne Matlow tries to answer on community talks she's been giving. If your child asks you, what can I do? Uh, okay. Matlow is a counselor who specializes in child and adolescent anxiety. Her key piece of advice to parents, don't call this the new normal. This is not a permanent state. It's okay to be angry, frustrated, scared, nervous, worried. I think Sometimes, um, as parents, we forget that sometimes our job is just to listen. Yeah, good job. With a new baby on the way, Orozano is trying to keep positive too. Try to think about what we can do when everything ends. It seems to help. It's one day at a time. And on a sunny day, a brighter future can seem a little closer. Joanna Rumeliotis, CBC News, Hamilton, Ontario.